Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today we'll be making a random password generator. So what we're going to be first doing is we're going to importing a module and then we're going to uh, be writing the code which is um, a function with a loop again and then we're going to have it so that you can specify the length of the password you want um, and so that you can choose and then it will then you press enter and it will generate a random password we're also going to start with a very simple part of the alphabet and then we're going to move um, on to the whole alphabet all the numbers and all the characters as well so let's get started let's swivel over onto this let me zoom in so as you can see here it's all been hashtagged out so, uh, it took me a while to write this, uh, even though it looks quite small, it's quite short. So, first thing we do is import the random module, and then, which um, gives us access to a whole load of um, sort of chance and probability like uh, f uh, new functions. It's basically a whole new sort of toolkit. And then we, we're going to create the function. We're going to define password and what it is. So we've said this function password is a length. And then we've also defined another sort of PW as a string because we want our password to be a string. And our letters and our numbers and our characters will all be in string format. This is our initial definition here. Of characters that are being allowed in this case and then we can do our for loop we're going to print it out and this bit here this is what caused me problems and then you always got to check your indentation and check whether actually you're getting the right output here very important return it and then we specify the length in where we want. So, at the moment we're limiting the this uh, the number of characters available in the random selection to just A, B, C, D, E, F. And we how we do that is we have the random we have a loop, and we activate the random choice, which chooses random and randomly each one of those and each one of those characters there. So what it does is it goes through, so we specify, let's say we do four here. So what's it gonna do? If to choose the first character, it's gonna run through here, first character, choosing a random one between A, B, C, D, E, F. So then it's gonna do the same for the second, and the third, and the fourth, because we specified four lengths. If it was 10, then it would do the same thing 10 times. So let's run this. As you can see, we've got a random choice, DFCA. And we can run this again, and you can get a different, different choice, different outputs every time. Proving that the random, it's working in a random way, and it's working how you know you'd like this function to work. So let's do a longer password, check that it is working. And it is. Check that it's 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, ten. Great. So now let's increase, let's include the whole alphabet this time. Um, yeah. And then let's rerun it. Now you see, and then instead of just getting A, B, C, D, F, we now get all the whole spectrum. And let's run that again several times. And you can see you get here's one, we've got A to X here. You see? It's choosing from a whole all the way between A to Z. Now let's in let's do the numbers one to nine. Let's include that as well. And then let's run this. Ah, oh, brilliant. Now we've got a more complex password, one that's probably harder to crack. And this is how um, softwares work when when they give you a password. They use a random password generator. 
on exactly the same concept. And then let's include some other cat. Remember the remember the the numbers in this case are strings. Very important to remember that. Uh, let's have some oh yeah. And let's randomize it. There we go. Proper random sequences. And you can have your password, you know, one if you really want. Or oh, a hundred. Look at that. A beast of a password. And there we go. So I hope you really enjoyed that tutorial. Check out more videos on my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.